Greetings everyone, and great here for another, not really three, Age of, Empire, Age of Empires 3 replay. Spawn on the left side see. as the blue Asua, we have Iwo Iwo. Spawn on the right side as the red Japanese, we have Willy 021343. Let's see now, Asua does have access to a lot of unique items. A lot of influence stuff. That's how the live stock market already researched on out. Oh, so while both players are collecting up their treasures, let's see what their decks are going for. So far, he has not selected the deck. The Japanese player has not selected the deck either. So, neither of them selected a deck just yet. Maybe I am for a bit of reconnaissance. Mark going out for the Japanese. Got the two ninjas moving around, I guess. That's one of skins, isn't it? Who's being cleaned on up? Let's go and just uh, fast forward from time frame since it's in the early eco phase. Of course, got the grinder here, which does improve the gathering rate of nearby villagers. It does extend out a bit far, so it is collecting up the moose right next to the town center. It also, is drawing the rest of these um, elk as well. Down south, Red does find some sheep, and Blue will intercept that one, or yes it will. And actually, having Red claim the sheep is actually very important, very good for his shrine. You have to go for the Dutch, uh, what's it called? The Dutch consulate in order to get out a uh, sheep. Of course, back home, and we'll go and finish off these wolves now. And Red... That must have been from, uh, from a card, so he does- Red has deployed out a- his deck out, and does have the canoes, or the fishing boats there, to cook up some food. It allows him to get some stealthy food with him early on, without having a dock to reveal it. His opponent right now has left the deck as well, so as both players are heading, heading next age, let's take a look at their cards. Hosua already took one of the villagers and does have the uh, Hosua Kingdom. Ships all the following builders up until the reached age. So, good to get a university. Or, he is saving his uh, shipment, so he's not at the university, which could get a trade builder in the next age. He also has access to grant a number of cattle of various size. This various fattening. Resource drops off. He does also have some archers, uh, Rafma, Rumfoss riders, and also enables them to be trained in Commerce Age. That's uh, one of his influence base units. Uh, increases uh, Funari archer range and siege. Alice and uh, token. And tokens of influence of us, the crate. Irot and the. Uh, Gal, Gal, how do you pronounce some of these names? Gal, Gan on C. Which is that? I ship a number of uh, unique musketeers, enables them to be trained in war camps where they cost population f uh, food and coin. And yep. While his opponent, let's see what uh, cards you can get in this city now. Does have the villagers. Uh, Chessa coin shrine wagons, and you'll see this plot of shrine wagons as well. That is a mix of housing and as well as a bit of XP. So he is using his uh, EXP to get more EXP. Neither side has any trade posts on the field just yet. Get, of course, some archers, some uh, musketeers, uh, increase the musketeer attack, samurai receive export. Also, relations are now very cheap, so it's easy. Good way to start off your consulate. Maybe get a quick shipment out with them as well. A daimyo and some cherry orchards. You have a handful of riders on the field, or raiders, I should say. Raiders now advancing on forward. The castle does spot the. And there's actually a samurai there, so he does lose a samurai and does hide a smoke bomb out of there. So he does save his. Uh, explorers, we do have the Naginata Riders now blow down the field. <clears throat> Naginata Riders are a 
anti it has bonus versus villagers and deals less damage versus uh, heavy infantry. While these raiders are in the same boat. 29 damage, 300 health, 180 health, and 22 damage. One explorer is doing fast go down. Explorer and these Naginata Riders are simply overwhelmed. There's way too many Raiders. While the Naginata Riders are definitely higher quality, they're just severely outnumbered. A good number of them starting to go down. It's going to have to split up these two. They're getting too much hit. And the last Naginata Rider will skip on the field. This is a massive force in the field. More Naginata Rifles on the field. And those are got some Musketeers. They do the hand attacks to Bones versus Cavalry. So. They get some damage on them in, and they get engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they will do decently well. They also have 170 health for the Raiders 180 health, so they would actually do reasonably well in melee. He is going to push forward in, in melee, does pick off one of the uh, Musketeers. A little bit poor control there, he, oh, he moved, did the move came of all of his units. More Musketeers move forward on the field. And sorry, I can't really pronounce a lot of these names. I forget as well. I'm trying to force myself to use the, uh, my custom painting keys rather than trying to use the side scroll. It's something I really should get more ingrained in me. Got some Flunari archers in the field. Their damage is pathetically low, but the new clone surface is heavy infantry. Oh, that same attack. As well as range attack. And these are considered heavy infantry and not uh, light infantry. He does fall back in time. The Musketeers, of course, a little bit outnumbered. He is one's not playing a shock infantry either, which is only meant for melee. The archers do get some good hits. Yunani, Bolani, however you pronounce it. All these names, I'm going to be horrible pronouncing. We do have a, the archers in a good formation. The Japanese player does fall back. And we do have this raider. Both raiders do go down. They're trying to siege on the shrine. The spread of the shrine said to get some extra wildlife around them. To get extra generation for resources. You can see here that he's getting gold, not uh, EXP at the moment. And for the livestock market. If I switch over to him, uh, then not fully fattened, not fully fattened. He can still uh, sell down for some money. You know how the Emir being brought on the field, as well as more villagers. Iron forest and snares. Japanese players on push way forward. He will get his heroes recovered. Maybe a good idea to go for them. There's just far, far too large of an army here. He knows his opponent's been playing a large number of units. And he's going to lose one of his mega forces here. That's the custom raiders there. And all the Naginata riders do go down. We got a handful more musketeers. We get a good volley there. Another raider does go down. Finale archers do. Uh, let's see, they have a range of 17. The musketeers have a range of 12. And looks like the university is providing influence. He's getting out the. Photo tactics, which increases the range of the Funari archers and siege range. Increase the range by three. So they'll have 20 range versus the 12 range of the musketeers. Quite a big difference, say the least. And are they kind of slightly light or heavy? They are considered light infantry as well, so the Naginata riders do not get bonus damage to them, but they're archers, so not like great in melee. They get they deal less damage to cavalry, so even though the Naginata Karatas don't hard counter them, the uh Unali archers definitely are weak against them. More muscles in front of you, greatest not way up north. They also have a handful of jav uh javelin riders. They do bone San uh light cavalry. Or heavy cav, actually. And the Naginata Riders, I believe, are classified as Heavy Cav. Yep. So these Javelin Throwers are new bonus and the Naginata Riders. Got some uh, Samurai here. And they are classified as Heavy Infantry, not as Shock Infantry. But the Naginata Archers would be going to them, but they're pretty beefy. Good amount of kills there for the Japanese player. 
It's gonna be messy fight for both sides. We got also the uh, influence base rifleman there that goes down. And looks like the Sua's forces will be killed off. The archers need to fall back. I always think as well, the Sua units are a bit more of a spamble type rather than the uh, strong type of Japanese eye for more of a strong, smaller force. And so now this very large force of units is going to be very, very powerful. The Fulnari archers do only have 120 health. These musketeers have 170. They do 25 damage at range, so at less range, while these Fulnari archers versus them do additional 75% damage. So that's approximately plus six, seven more damage. So it's approximately 60 damage. But they do have some they have good range. 20 range is very significant. Oh, and now got the raiders raiding. Not sure if any villagers went down. See a carcass there for the raiders. Trying to destroy the shrine. We've got the Naginata Rise trying to engage. He make it the shrine. Raiders do have 26 siege damage. Which is larger than the Naginata Riders. Does get a shrine there. Japanese player has a bit of population space to work with. So a minor loss. And more of the raiders are starting to go on down. Another castle pulled out here. We got graniers here. Graniers are pretty nice in order to make sure the life of the wildlife don't wander away. We got some chariot orchards here. They do have what 5,000 base food. And I think I'm not sure the collection rate. I think it's actually a decent collection rate as well. Or they have berry collection rate, which is higher than farms. I think less than livestock, but I think the Japanese have a lot of capabilities improving it a little bit more. Oh, and looks like uh, my ability to use the arrow key, or my camera movement keys, is once again overlapping with the abilities. Apparently I can cast abilities, which I cannot see. No, just a way to fix that so I can actually see what they have active and can out and sort of that thing. Go down here, the influence base, uh, Akin, so I'll go on down. We also have the Sultan here, which she will quickly go down as well. Sultan has to go down. We do have more Naginata Rise painting up forward. <clears throat> Good damage there. The Japanese losing the Lord Finnell's support there. Archer's doing some great damage there. Huh, that archery style there. That's weird. Maybe actually animated to be more like the local style to use for this uh, civilization because they're a hunch over like that. I haven't seen an archery style like that, but every nation in like, history has their own little archery style. It's amazing, it's amazing how the entire world developed bows at one point in time, but how they fire the bows ever so slightly different. Now the Japanese player does have 38 villagers. The Hosua only has 31. Of course, he has a quite a bit of income from the influence. It's hard to gauge that, but the Japanese player does have a good number of shrines in comparison, which about eight. Let's just say each one's producing 0.38 of 0.3 gold per second. It's not very comparable to influence, so I should, well, I should end up. One of the reason why the Japanese also has some good eco because he's been maintaining these fishing ships. And he can eventually just go, if he needs gold, he can always send them to the beluga. In fact, there's a good number of belugas out on that uh, sea. So he can support a lot of uh, fishing ships. You have, looks like, Daimo to pull down the field now. You can see the aura benefits. There's Daimo right there. There he is. Daimo Motomota. Mototada. Probably butchered that as well. Oh, we got now the Gearots here. I'm pretty sure they're using a. They probably use some sort of firing animation, honestly. I'm gonna use firing animation. We do got quite a bit of stuns here. That's probably from the uh, Gearots. He's in a good defense position there. The smaller, high quality unit of force of the Japanese are probably a bit more vulnerable to the Gearots. We also got some uh, Irish Brigadiers pulled out in the field as well. That may be related to the map itself. So, correctly, they're like a hundred gold each. 
and they are one pop in shape. They're very, very similar to Musketeers. They cost entire gold, of course, a mercenary unit. But regular Musketeers are 75, 25, and I think the Japanese player back the game right now because this is ended right now. So, oh, well played by both players. This is Anne Grade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.